Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Chung here again. Uh, this time, uh, <clears throat> let's continue our lead code journey here. Uh, let's take a look at this problem. Uh, 1029, two CD scheduling. Um, it's marked as easy, but to me, I think it's like more uh, more like a upper end of easy question because it's not that straightforward but let's anyway let's take a look basically you're giving like a array of two and peoples right and for each element represents the the two cost for that person the first one is the cost to send that person to cd a and the second one is to send that city to send that person to cd b and you need you can only you need to send exactly n person to that to each city, right? And then you need to write an algorithm to uh, to return the minimum cost, basically to evenly uh, sending those those two and people into into the city A and B, right? So this problem is like it's a it's a greedy greedy problem. Basically, basically every time, right, we choose a person that's the optimum to send to either CD A or CD B, right? But what's the criterion of of the optimal uh, uh, option at the moment, right? So as you can see here, right? So it, it's obviously that if we choose, let's say, for the for example, the four hundred and fifty. You know, the difference between sending this person to A and B is 350, right? And this one, and for the other one, for the, let's say for the first person, the, only, the difference will only be, uh, will only be 10, right? So what, so that means that the earlier, you know, if we have, if we send this person with the biggest difference at the, as early as possible, which means at the, if we send this person as early as possible, it's more it's more likely we'll be able to choose between this. We'll be we'll have the ability. It's more likely we have the ability to choose if we want to send this person to a to either a city A or B, right? Uh, let's take assuming assuming let's say we uh we process this one later on to to the very end, right? Then. And this is A and B, right? A and B. Let's say when we uh, before processing this this persons, let's say we already send n persons to the CDB. It it already has n persons. Then when we see this see see this person here, the only choice we have is is nothing but send this person to A, right? That will give us like a worst a worse uh, result, right? So basically now it, it's, it's, I think it's pretty clear that what we need to do is we need to sort by the difference of each person, right? And then we sort or we start processing the persons from uh, with the, the biggest difference first. And then we, it's, we will have a, like a best possibilities to choose, right? Basically to, to save the cost when we, when we process that person. I think there are like my there might be some other ways of, of doing this problem, but I think the way I just described was the one I felt like was uh, felt like kind of intuitive, at least to me. I mean, you guys can have any uh, other process, uh, I, other solutions or ideas, but the the concept here is that we uh, we need to somehow f um, basically sort by the most gains, right? from the, the, the most gains to the least gains, right? That's the key idea here. Okay, let's let's start coding here. And so at least from my solutions here, I need to sort this cost, right? By the difference, right? So I'm gonna do a sort here, right? And the key is that uh, Lambda, right? I'm gonna sort it by the uh, X, X, uh, 
So I'm just using an absolute uh, value here to sort the most, uh, <clears throat> the biggest difference, right? I think I saw another solution is that you you can only uh, you can also sort only sort by uh, by the first by by using a minus the the first one minus the second one that then you know what's the gains by sending a by sending the person to a not to b right uh, that will also work but I'll just finish my uh, my uh, my code here based uh, based on my uh, on my solutions here so. Basically, I'll do a do a like x right zero and uh, x one right. So that's how I I do the sortings. And like I said, since we're going to process from the most the most uh, significant the most people who will have the most significant difference, so we're gonna do a, a reverse right equals to true right. So that's how we do the sortings. And now and then we have a and then I have like this uh, first answer, right? Will be zero, and uh, I'm maintaining like a, a count and the B count here, right? That can help me tr keep track how many persons have been sent to A and B, right? And also an N here, right? So the N will be a length. For each per for each city will be a length of cost, uh, and divided by two, right? Because we we'll basically will be having two m persons in in the cost, and for each city, so we need two here. We need uh the this length divided by two. So now we can do a cost here since we already stored it. So uh a cost, okay, cost b cost, right? In um in cost right so we do a check if the if a cost is smaller than b right then b cost and what and the uh, uh and then we just do a what we we, we use the, the cost from a in this case right answer plus uh, a cost and we uh, we just uh, increase the count by one. Uh, actually, we probably we don't need two counters here. All we need is this one. So the first condition is that or right and or the B count, or the B count uh, is equals to the to the N, right? So if we already have this B count reach the reach the maximum capacity of the cities, so all, we don't need to worry about any of the 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 conditions here. We just simply assign the cost, right? I think in this case we don't even need that. We all we need is a counter for for the B. So else, right? Else we are uh, basically what do we do? We use the uh, the B counter, so the B cost, right? And then we simply add the B count by one, right? In the end, we just return the answer. I think this should work. Yeah. Let's see. Um, nope. Uh, I know. So, yeah, I think we still need this counter A here because not everything, f uh, not every time A smaller than B we need. And another condition is that and, right? And the A counter is smaller than the, than the N, right? And then, yeah, I need the parentheses to, to group those things together. So those two things will be one conditions, or right, or like I said, or this B, CDB has reached the the most capacity here. With that, with that, with that in mind, we also need to maintain this one here. Yeah, I think this time should work. Yeah. So 
we still need to we still need two counters to count a and b here basically after sorting it by the the most by the, the difference between sending the person to cd a and b every time we just do a quick check here right so we uh we try to sort this thing as 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 best as we can this is a, like the greedy algorithm here both from here and here right so as long as we have the ability to choose from a and b right then we'll choose the better the smaller cost between them if we can if we can't uh, choose any more we simply just uh, send it we simply just uh, simply set this uh use this city a here right and otherwise we just do a uh, uh, send this person to the CDB and we increase the count uh, and cool I think yeah as you can see this is not the most optimal solutions but I find this kind of like more intuitive to me mm. yeah I think uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the enjoyed the videos thank you so much for watching it and stay stay tuned and I'll be seeing you guys soon thank you Bye.